back up here to the next tab where we can set the keyboard settings, the model, the layout, variant, option and if you're using a Citrix session you can set the language for the keyboard for Citrix and set that here we also have uh, on-screen keyboard that's useful for um, digital signage touch screens uh, just also mouse uh, orientation right-handed left-handed audio volume mouse sensitivity uh, num lock on or off it's defaulted to off and there's a section here for audio output for the Raspberry Pi where you can set it's defaulted to auto but you can actually force either analog audio output or HDMI audio, audio output and if you plug a USB headset in before you connect to the uh, Citrix session the USB headset will be used instead so I'll just show you the on-screen keyboard I select that if I hit save settings the on-screen keyboard will appear and there it is and this is the Citrix dialog box because I've configured a Citrix uh, session to be launched where I log in by typing my username at the domain so John at test and then the password so I'll just cancel that uh, I want to get back to the configuration menu here so I can turn off this on skate on screen keyboard so now I press Alt F4 that kills the Citrix storefront session click on configure and I go back up here and I uncheck on screen keyboard click on save settings and new session and we're back here again so I'll just cancel that press Alt F4 kill the Citrix session, click on configure and we'll go to the next tab which is miscellaneous where the device host name can be changed there's also a setting here, change TLX config password that's the password that locks a user out of this configuration menu unless they know what the password is normally this is set from the management software but if the password has not been set and you have access to this menu you can set a password which stops anyone from changing anything using this configuration menu Google Cloud Print uh, if you select that and put a user ID password in this will convert the, this particular device into a Google Cloud printer using a printer that's plugged into the device. A couple of defaults here: enable power save mode is enabled, enable firewall is enabled. And we also have a uh, Octo Blue Gate Blue IoT gateway integrated into every version of TLX OS. If you want to turn it on, you just click in this. Uh, checkbox here and it'll be uh, turned on you can find out more information about that by uh, reading the user guides and also uh, at the Octo Blue website you can uh, have a look and see what they say about the Gate Blue gateway the last tab is the about one which is just the copyright message of the, and the version of the software here and that's the end of the demonstration of how to use TLX Compete.